So if you guys had this, um, basically we need to solve for x and then graph. So I divide by 3 on both sides. I have x is less than 1. Or divide by 9, divide by 9, x is greater than or equal to 6. So you're just going to use your inverse operations to solve for each one. Um, then we're going to choose a number line. And we want to make sure now we include both solution points. So I'll have 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, negative 1, negative 2. OK, so again, um, this, this one's saying is x is less than 1. So remember, you make a point at the solution point, And less than is going to be open, right? It's not included. And then the values that are less than 1 are going to go to the left. Then we do x is greater than or equal to 6. Greater than or equal to is going to be a closed point. And then all the values that are greater than 6 are going to go to the right. Okay, So your solution is true if it's less than 1 or greater than 6. Can it be both in this example? Could you have a number that's greater than 6 and less than 1? No, no right? It doesn't make sense for this one. Um, so this one, you can only it's either one or the other. 